Dear friends, welcome to Raj Shaker classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 437. In this lecture, I will continue my discussion on Fourier decomposition or Fourier transform. Now, mathematically speaking, what will you do? Suppose this is original time domain wave. If this is my time domain data, now let's assume I used Fourier transform to convert this data into frequency domain. I have 10 hertz here. Let's see what is my here. If you see here, I have 10 hertz frequency. Yes, uh, just see this one. Yes, I have 10 hertz frequency, 15 hertz frequency. I have some 20 hertz uh, frequency here. And th th this is how I represented it. In machine learning model, all you want is feature vector, isn't it? In the context or in the case of machine learning algorithm, what, what we need? We need, what we need? We need uh, feature, we need feature vector. So, given this signal, yes, just given, given this particular signal, just let me say like this, given this signal, given this signal, how do you get feature vector? That is important. Just see, I have signal here. For this signal, I need what I need? I need feature vector. I can say step number one, you will compute the Fourier transform. You got three frequencies. Just let me say you will compute the Fourier transform. You got three frequencies. You got frequency one. Let me say this is 10 hertz frequency one, frequency two. Let me say there are frequency three, isn't it? You have got frequency one and its corresponding amplitude. Let me say this is frequency one and this is corresponding amplitude. This is frequency two. This is corresponding amplitude. Frequency three, its corresponding amplitude. F1 is frequency one. A1 is corresponding amplitude. F2 is frequency 2, A2 is corresponding amplitude, F3 is frequency 3 and A3 is corresponding amplitudes, isn't it? Let's assume these are most important frequencies. Which frequencies are most important? Let me say 10 hertz frequency, 15 hertz frequency, 20 hertz frequency. Let me say there is another frequency 50 hertz. Let it be, let it be. But this, uh, this, this amplitude is very small, isn't it? Let's assume these are most important frequencies. So there might be small frequency that is 50 hertz, but 50 hertz, but it is not very tall. Let me assume it is very small. So you can ignore, you can, you can ignore, you can ignore. You, which one you can ignore? Just see, uh, just see the heights, uh, heights. Uh, just see. This 50 hertz is very small amplitude, therefore you can ignore this, isn't it? Uh, there are three frequencies are very important, which has significantly, significantly good amplitudes also. So, given a time domain signal or wave from uh, waveform like this, just uh, this is this is a waveform like waveform like this. You can write it as feature vector, feature feature vector. You have to write. Uh, uh, fe feature vector, isn't it? Uh, say a uh, waveform like uh, uh, feature vector like how, how, will, how can I write feature vector? Just see this is feature vector, feature vector like this. Just see this is a feature vector, isn't it? Your feature vector will say first feature is F1 and uh, the topmost frequency that F1 is is uh, is first frequency corresponding to topmost frequency and the uh, and I can say the topmost, the second most frequency uh, that is F2 and uh, third most frequency and first most frequency amplitude, first most frequency amplitude is A1, second most frequency amplitude is A2, uh, third most frequency amplitude is A3. This, this particular, this is feature vector I can say, isn't it? This becomes, this becomes your Xi, this becomes your, just see, this becomes your Xi. This is uh, and representing your data using Fourier series, sorry, Fourier series like this, using frequencies and amplitude instead of instead of 
uh, uh, instead of windows earlier we were looking at windows is right this type of representation is called fourier representation of data it's called the fourier representation it's called the fourier representation of your time series data fourier featureization is very important when you have repeating waveforms especially like heart rates things like that where frequencies of repetition is important it's a very very powerful idea we have we have a case study where in where in use fitbit uh, axel row uh, axel row meters fitbit is very very interesting uh, smart watch device which has axel row meter and gyroscope and other sensor other sensors to take uh, to track your movement every day so there is actually uh, data collected data collected through axel row meter fitbit like um, fitbit like uh, devices we have case study where we look at time series data of axel row meters where wherein we use lot of fourier transform fourier transforms and more advanced transforms where we use fourier transforms and the most important fun part here is using uh, accelerometer data so this is also time series data when you when you shake your hand accelerometer vibrates a lot otherwise it keeps quiet all your smartphones have actually have accelerometers so we look at data we look at data like this we also look at uh, uh, windowing we also look at uh, windowing we also look at moving window techniques so we look at all these ideas and we see how to determine what a person is doing whether a person is sleeping or whether a person is walking upstairs so we determine what a person is doing just using accelerometer data accelerometer data of smartwatch or fitbit or fitbit he is using this is one of the case study that we have where in we will use some of the concepts like windowing or fourier uh, transform if some of you don't know fourier transform very well it's okay remember learning fourier transform and other more complex trans transforms takes years and years of learning because people actually spend uh, semester course or sometimes uh, multiple semester uh, courses to learn signal processing and all these techniques uh, fourier transform is one of the important transform in signal processing so machine learning scientist or machine learning engineer needs to learn all these concepts as and when necessary for example i did not learn signal processing when i was in college i learned it uh, i learned it when i was looking at time series data i learned lot of signal processing concepts when i was looking at uh, time series data just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty please keep a comment in my next lecture i will discuss about deep learning features lstm thank you very much